What's up folks? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video I'll be showing you uh, my new purchase. A 1985 Yamaha 125cc Riva. Uh, I bought it non-running. It had carburation issues. I had to pull the carburetor off twice actually to get it. It only ran off uh, starting fluid. And I almost gave up and bought a uh, China carburetor and uh, had a manufacturer to make it fit on the intake. But I gave it a whirl and got the second time I got to got it to work. It was really dirty, so I like the Makuni carbs. If I can keep them original, I like to. But uh, these are unique. I owned a few Hondas and uh, uh, smaller Yamaha Jogs and Razzes. So if you want to check out my other uh, scooters and moped videos on my channel, go ahead and check them out. I'm a big collector, buy and sell these. So I never owned one of these before. These are quite unique. From the cluster down to the t down to the rims, <laughs> but here's the cluster. It's got eight thousand some odd miles on it. Really uh, unique layout though of, of the cluster, the dash. It's got a glove department just like the Honda Elites. This one had the original tool bag in it. Nice little storage. Uh, what's really unique on these is uh, for like checking the oil and stuff, it's got a sight glass. You can see the, the, the level and the condition of the oil, which is really, really unique. I like that. These foot pegs, look at that. That's cool. Hideaway, tuckaway. I think Hondas, I believe, are on mine order up here. Nice little rack in the back with the motorcycle helmet. That's really a cool option to get, I guess. The rims are really cool on these too. Kind of state of the art for 1985. It's got some scuffs on it. I'm sure it's been laid down once or twice in its time. You know, it's 1985. Well, let me tell you, this thing, I got, uh, like I said in my other videos, I got a, a Honda 150 cc's, 1987's, and this is a 125 cc, and let me tell you, this got some pickup. This is, I got, I haven't topped out yet, but I got already up to 50 miles an hour, and uh, it gets up there pretty, pretty dang quick. Pretty impressive. I've always wanted one of these, but I never got a chance. These don't come up very often. They're not near as popular as the Honda Elites. But man, this thing is pretty impressive. We'll start her up. See on the dash there? It's got this kick kickstand let. It goes up. It will not start when that's on there. It's kind of a weird. It throws me off because I never had that on a scooter before. It goes off and then it's got a foot brake like the uh, like the Honda Elites. You gotta press that in to start it. Boy, listen to her purr. Starts right up. You do need a motorcycle endorsement in the state of Minnesota to ride these. It's got classic plates. <laughs> That's nice. Cheap insurance and uh, don't have to retab it every year. Especially in Minnesota, we got a lot of snow, cold seasons, so we don't ride these much anyways. High, low, turn signals. This mirror right here is stripped out. I'm gonna to do something about that. I'm not quite sure yet. But, all right, we'll take a little test ride. You got really good suspension on them too. Very quick acceleration. Just as much as my 150cc Honda Elites. The 
just in a parking lot here, so I can't get up to a really good speed. Just want to give you guys a little sample of how quick the acceleration is on these. Yeah, these are uh, really nice scooters, man. I'm glad I finally bought one of these. I buy and sell a lot of uh, scooters, vintage Japan built scooters and mopeds. And uh, I ranked this up there with one of the best that I had. It does got a tear in the seat right here. Kind of sucks, but what do you do, you know? Get you some of that, though. Get your, give you a chance to buy one, buy it up. They're really impressive machines. Well, if you like this video and it's helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you got any questions or comments, leave down below. And uh, thank you for watching my video. Until next time, peace.